What's up guys, Zunara here, and today I'm going to be doing a brand new series for the channel, which is a market watch for Lyrical Monastero and Bermuda Triangle. I know I've done a Bermuda Triangle one in the past, however, I just haven't been able to do it in the last couple of months, or more so a year. And uh, since D series is now a format, I wanted to expand upon that and to give insight to uh, what cards that you should be purchasing for Lyrical, uh, what trends have been happening since then and uh, a little bit why maybe a price might have spiked up in price So this week we're going to be doing lyrical set one bosses and some of their support from set two Just so that we can get a base understanding of uh, what the prices are looking like before There's upcoming support in the festival collection. So this is the first time that lyrical is getting their festival collection uh, with the other nations as well and they're supporting set one bosses so that's why i wanted to kind of look over the set one bosses and their support cards to know how much they've been rising in prices or if they changed anything so with that being said let's get it started so first up we're going to talk about uh the the for lyrical we're going to be talking about lorano and her support uh today is the 28th so this is exactly saturday uh saturday morning for my time so, uh, Lorinal, uh, she was quite cheap before, uh, the reveal, which is on the 24th. As you can see, there was a lot of people buying her. Now, uh, a lot more people have been getting, like, their extra, like, one of copies or their extra, uh, three. And some people might only buy one because, in theory, it could be a new boss for these ly lyrical bosses, like a new grade three. So, they might need just one. Uh, but some people might not have a place so they might end up buying four. So for right now, the market price is around like two dollars, which is understandable. She was a bit higher like uh, last year, just because it was a bit of a meta deck. But now it's she's fallen off significantly. So uh, uh, Lauren was around two dollars. Next we have uh, Equina, her support card uh, from set one. So recently, um, a lot of people have not been buying this card um since it was on the 24th uh i'm kind of surprised since uh as long as you just sing a song you can essentially have to very skill you could draw two cards and stuff um so around her market price she's about like a dollar um i will say which is pretty okay so if you want to get your uh key triple r for probably lauren uh, i would say get this card right now next her uh big order that allows you to retain your rear guards um, so recently we have, uh, not a lot of people buying this card, which is very interesting. Um, again, this is like a mandatory four of, depending on what the new card might do. This is basically your one con of being able to restrain your two rear guards and having, uh, Lorna herself have the Sentinel Restrict and, um, the, your Vanguard gets a bunch of power for each card stood. So the bark price is around like $2, um, for this is U, uh usd sorry i forgot to mention that um see so yeah, around two dollars for the order which isn't bad i can see this going up depending when the reveal happens uh next we have uh la Russa, which is a very good counter charger now uh you can see not a lot of people bought her uh only two people bought her as like a four of a three of this is a very good counter charger just because if it boosts uh uh, a vanguard i mean if it's in the center column which you boosting the vanguard you counter charge one which is essentially free it's a 11k booster you become more in the future with other cards and i think it's just a very good support for all around so the market price around is like uh 50 to like 30 cents depending on who you're getting your buyer from so i will pick this up immediately um so you won't have any issues with counter blast in the future lastly the triple r from uh last set um from set two uh now i know on reveal uh this card didn't seem very good but i think this card is gonna be very important since they were supporting a bunch of cards that uh weren't just the snow order the six flower uh fractal so uh as you can see recently um not like again not a lot of people have been buying it but i think this will probably be a very important card in the future just because of uh, how they've been sup they supported lauren all set two and didn't really give her that much support towards the, uh, her big win con order, but I think this will be a very important staple in the near future. 
Next up for the lyrical bosses is a uh, pretty much a favorite for most of the community as well as uh, Clarissa is this Felty Rosa. So I know I've recently picked up uh, the extra copies I need for Felty Rosa and since the reveal we've been having a lot of buy ofs of four ofs and play sets. Uh, there have been a couple of one of purchases but pretty much people are getting their uh, bosses and copies of Felty Rosa. Um, around the market price so far she's been around like a dollar i don't think i've seen anything too crazy rising spike since there was just a lot of lyrical set one and um not a lot of people bought a lot of product for set two there's just an overstock of set one so there's a bunch of felty rose on the market so if you don't have your felties i would pick it up now for around a dollar usd next is uh ingrid so i know ingrid in the past was more expensive around the time of um ghost jam kairi and now it's the beginning of um of lyrical so uh people have been put minor play sets uh a couple of one ofs and uh, a two of but most people have been buying her as um a play set so around the market price even though this says one i think she's around like a two dollar card maybe depending on the seller you can get it for cheaper but around the play sets i've been seeing has been really two ofs so Ingrid just allows you to get your counter charge and also she's an 18k attacker, restains her back or rear guard, it doesn't matter if it's a ghost, and um, she's a ghost as well. It just clears your front row so you can use a Felty Rosa skill. So yeah, she's a very important staple, I would get her as well. Another important staple is uh, Inersta. So recently, um, we have haven't had that much cards, people buying this card. Um, I think she's pretty important since she is like a, a mini frog raider for uh, ghosts and Felty Rosa. But around the price, she's been like a dollar. Before I know, she's rose up to maybe two to three in the past, I believe. But for the price that you're getting at right now, I think it's a really good steal before she becomes way more expensive, like a five hour card, since it is like um, an extra restander, like a Signe, um, as well as just being able to be a good combo maker. And you can stack your triggers of power on it. So I would get this uh, immediately if you're planning on playing Felty Rosa. Now, uh, her triple R from set two, Dylan. Uh, Dylan. Um, I know this card has been recently been getting bought. Yeah, there's a lot of people, uh, including myself. I had to purchase this myself. Uh, there's a bunch of one ups and a couple of uh three ofs and four ofs this card is essentially um when it's placed on rigor circle you so lost one that you could call a ghost from your drop zone and if you do call a ghost from your drop zone uh you could do it during your battle phase you could do it during may phase so she's a plus one however um when she attacks it doesn't matter if she attacks the vanguard you have to put her at the bottom of the deck so it's a wash but inherently you can call stuff like ingrid um and any other ghost you need or any other future ghost support that you may get so, it's an eight dollar card at the moment. It's between six and eight or nine dollars, but I can reasonably understand that because this card is very, very good in Felty Rosa. It's just at the moment, Felty Rosa isn't the strongest. So, uh, I would say rather sooner or later to get this card as like your priority. I will say this is the most, um, the card you need to prioritize the most before you uh, get started with Felty Rosa. Uh, lastly, we got her double R from uh, set two. Uh, this card isn't as important, but it is a very important combo maker. So, uh, people have been buying in play sets. Uh, there's a couple orders, but I would recommend you getting this as a four of because she makes any of your ghosts go back to the bottom of the deck, and ghosts that do not like remove themselves from the front row um, will stay on the field. And she just allows you to get that um, and become a 10k booster. So it hits numbers if you're on Persona Rod or, or etc. So around she's like a two to three dollar card in the market, but I think that's um, okay for right now. Um, she was significantly cheaper like months ago. Um, let me put one month. Yeah, she was significantly cheaper, but since the uh, reveal on the 23rd, a lot more people is a binder. So uh, again, I will say pick this up right now. I will say uh, this is the card you want to go for now, and. Uh, this card I want to go for second. 
Um, I would have added Ghost PG, but there's so many right now, you can get it for cheap, but I will also recommend you getting uh, the Ghost Perfect Guard. For the next boss, we have uh, Wallista. So Wallista, um, I'm not sure quite recently. She's always been a very cheap card, but not a lot of people have been purchasing her. Uh, we have a couple of 4 ofs, uh, one 1 of and a 2 of, but Wallista's always been a very affordable deck. Um, she wasn't the very strongest deck, so she around now for the market price, she's around like 30 cents USD. I can see some sellers selling her for 50. Um, again, if you want to play Willista, I think she will get a lot of support or a lot of um, helping in her uh, deck strategy. Since it's set two, she's gotten a lot of good cards. The deck still is a bit of a struggle to play. But I think if you really want to play Melissa, uh, if you don't have your copies, I would get her uh, right now. Uh, next, her triple R from set one. This basically allows you to play another order. If you uh, played True Ruby, True Out of Ruby this turn, and she gets Towns of Power, so she's a 23k, and um, you can just play an extra order. So recently, again, not a lot of people have been buying it. Um, we're not going to count the 22nd because I was way before. Um, but this card is most likely like a 25 cent card or 15. Yeah, like around 25 cent card. Um, again, I haven't seen really much Willis list, even uh, post set to play this as much. It does help with power. It's a combo center, but I can see if the new Willis has another condition if you play two of them you get like a very powerful effect so you might want to pick this up if that's the case uh sooner rather than later uh next is set one card if you play everlasting sapphire uh you could draw a card if you have um the great three Willista. uh i think this card is very important just to be able to build hand and it essentially just replaces the order that you use for free uh to draw and 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 if you have uh two of her on field you could draw two you could essentially plus one so Again, not a lot of people have been using this. I've been buying this card. Um, she's around like, uh, for the market price, I've been seeing around like 10 to 15 cents, maybe 25 cents. Still, you get your place it for a dollar or less or a little bit more just depending on taxes or where you live. But I think it's a very good steal. Uh, next, we have her triple R from set two, Ophelia. So um, I think this card has been bought out the most. From Willista, yeah, a lot of people have been buying it out. Um, one ofs, uh, actually, a lot of one ofs, and uh, a couple of three ofs, and a couple four ofs. So, I think this card is very important. Willista, I think it's like the card you want the most just because she's a restand or rear guard. Yeah, even though she has a conditional restand, uh, which is in the center row, I still think it's a very uh, powerful card for Willista. And we could get more cards in the future that I can put another card in the rear guard center center or even be a center back row attacker which could be Willista's uh uh game plan so you can have more than just uh four attacks you can have five and even maybe even more in the future so i would get this first if i was um planning on building Willista. lastly her double r from uh set two and this basically allows you to uh camera's one to search your deck for a jump card if it was discarded from your deck or during your turn um it, it just filters out your deck and it's a very nice card so what i'm seeing here is uh a lot of people are buying two of the four ofs and there's like there's one three of for this deck i think uh being able to search your gems consistently is very important and uh this card um since it is a grade three it, this could work during any of your turn, as long as you have Willista. So if you're discarding for a cost and effect, you can camera us one. It just has a lot of versatility, especially if you, we get more cards in the future that discard during your turn, this can combo with it and essentially thin your deck even more. So uh, on the scale, I think you should be able to get Ophelia first, and then probably this second and then the other two aren't as important right now but i will get her third as a priority if you don't have your will list just get her now but other than that i would try to get ophelia first before uh starting for the next boss we have a uh, willista so willista um i'm not sure quite recently she's always been a very cheap card but not a lot of people have been purchasing her uh we have a couple four ofs uh one one of and a two of but Willis has always been a very affordable deck. 
um, she wasn't the very strongest deck, so she around now for the market price, she's around like 30 cents USD. I can see some sellers selling her for 50. Um, again, if you want to play Willista, I think she will get a lot of support or a lot of um, helping in her uh, deck strategy. Since it's set two, she's gotten a lot of good cards. The deck still is a bit of a struggle to play, but I think if you really want to play Willista, uh, if you don't have your copies, I would get her uh, right now. Uh, next, her triple off from set one. This basically allows you to play another order if you uh, played True Ruby. True out of Ruby this turn, and she gets Towns of Power, so she's a 23k, and um, you can display extra order. So, recently, again, not a lot of people have been buying it. Um, we're not going to count the 22nd because that was way before. Um, but this card is most likely like a 25 cent card or 15, yeah, like around 25 cent card. Um, again, I haven't seen really much Willista list, even uh, post set to play this as much. It does help with power. It's a combo center, but I can see if the new Willista has another condition. If you play two of them, you get like a very powerful effect. So you might want to pick this up if that's the case uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, next is set one card. If you play Everlasting Sapphire, uh, you could draw a card if you have um, the Great Three Willista. Uh, I think this card is very important just to be able to build hand. It essentially just replaces the order that you use for free. Uh, to draw and 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 if you have uh, two of her on field, you could draw two. You could essentially plus one. So again, not a lot of people have been using this. I've been buying this card. Um, she's around like uh, for the market price. I've been seeing around like ten to fifteen cents, maybe twenty five cents. So you get to place it for a dollar or less or a little bit more, just depending on taxes or where you live. But I think it's a very good steal. Uh, next, we have her Triple R from Set 2, Ophelia. So, um, I think this card has been bought out the most from Willista. Yeah, a lot of people have been buying it out. Um, one ofs, uh, actually a lot of one ofs, and uh, a couple of three ofs, and a couple of four ofs. So, I think this card is very important to Willista. I think it's like the card you want the most, just because she's a restand on rear guard. Yeah, even though she has a conditional restand. Uh, which is in the center row. I still think it's a very uh, powerful card for Ballista, and we could get more cards in the future that I can put another card in the rear guard center, center or even be a center back row attacker, which could be Ballista's uh, uh, game plan. So you can have more than just uh, four attacks. You can have five, and even maybe even more in the future. So I would get this first if I was um, playing on building Ballista. Lastly, her double R from uh, set two. And this basically allows you to uh, camera out someone to search your deck for a gem card if it was discarded from your deck or during your turn. Um, it, it just filters out your deck and it's a very nice card. So what I'm seeing here is uh, a lot of people are buying two of the four of's and there's like, there's one three of. For this deck, I think uh, being able to search your gems consistently is very important. And uh, this card, um, since it is a grade three, it, this could work during any of your turn as long as you have Willista. So if you're discarding for a cost and effect, you can camera us one. It just has a lot of versatility, especially if you, we get more cards in the future that discard during your turn. This can combo with it and essentially thin your deck even more. So uh, on the scale, I think you should be able to get Ophelia first and then probably this second and then the other two aren't as important right now but i will get her third as a priority if you don't have your willistas get her now but other than that i would try to get ophelia first before uh starting anything next for lyrical bosses we have alestial so alestial is also another favorite from the community and uh to see her current price not a lot of people have been purchasing her probably because they've either already purchased her um or yeah, for whatever reason, I already have the card. I'm um, gonna have like seven copies of this card when I pulled from boxes. So, uh, Life Deal's price is around like maybe two dollars, same as Lorinal, which isn't bad. Um, again, I think a Life Steel is a pretty good card, it just needs better support in order for the deck to be a little bit more stronger than it is right now. Um, 
but yeah i think less than around the price of like two dollars isn't too bad if you're selling it um again you can always sell it for less uh but i'll pick her up now than later especially if we get a really good rear guard next is elkio um elkio is a very important card because you're able to activate both wings as well as being able to draw if you place your vanguard um elkio has been selling quite a bit not too much like i thought there's only there have even been someone who bought as a playset, which is kind of interesting. Um, I think Elki is like the second, the third most important card. But in some cases, depending on how the support for uh, Alessio goes, she might be the most important card to be able to activate your stuff. So um, her mark price is around like a dollar, uh, depending on the seller, which is not too bad. She was lower back then, but uh, as we go on with more wings i think this might be important you can activate both at the same time if it's bound even if it's bound from a uh, alessio's effect next we have uh Imurul. so this is a set one card that was able to give you regards crit if you was in white wing so we've seen some people buy her um again this set did sell a lot it just wasn't that strong when it compared to like every other deck except uh two to three decks but our market price is around like uh 60 to 50 cents i would say um there are uh three variants for alessio there's white wing black wing and mixed wing if you want to go that route um and she's very important for the white wing build so if you want to get her for the white wing build uh, i would say you should get her up now next probably the most important uh triple r for alessio also from other variations of uh, of a wing deck is a uh, finale so uh recently she has been getting bought um well actually it's only been three uh people who bought it in the last couple days but this price has been around here since nearly the beginning she was like 15 dollars uh at one point or even higher but her market price is around like 13 to 15 i've seen it fluctuate throughout ever since set two um this card is very important because you can uh, use her with Elkio to trigger both um, of the wings, as well as she gives your opponent's Vanguard a minus 5k when she attacks. So if Lesto is able to like restand this, somehow you can use her counter blast again and just minus 5k is not once per turn. And you can do use on your grade 2 turn, etc. etc. It allows you to reuse your Elkio. So uh, I would say uh, this is this and um, Elkio are probably the most important cards you want to pick up for the deck. Um, especially this one, since I can see this rising in price if it gets to a point where it's actually a very strong competitive deck. And it was during the beginning of set two, it was a nice rogue deck. Uh, lastly, we have uh, Pino, uh, I believe that's how I say her name. So, a lot of I think, yeah, we have quite a bit of people who bought her. Um, this card was a bit more expensive in the past, as you can see, she was around like five dollars or maybe even six. Uh, this is a back row attacker. If you have a less steel, uh Vanguard, you can attack a grade through a greater Vanguard from the back row. So with um, Alessio's Black Wings in uh, Fenio, it will be a minus 10k. And you can attack her with 10k and demand a uh, 10k shield or more. Uh, especially if you put power on her, it's uh, more than 10k shield. So I will say this is as a porn depending on which build you want to make. But it's always nice to have extra attacks from the back row. And to be able to uh, poke your opponent for damage. So she's been selling around like $2 during play sets. So I can say as a reasonable price. It is a very strong grade too if you build a black wing route. Or just have this card in your deck. So overall, um, Alessio. If you have, don't have Alessio, get Alessio. Uh, this is your main priority. And then Elkio, I would say. Lastly, for the lyrical bosses, we have Kalurisa. So uh, a pretty much a fan favorite for a lot of the community. And... If you didn't already have her before, uh, you're still luck that she's still a pretty decent price, around two dollars, I want to say. Um, even though some people might list it as one or lower, um, it's from probably one fifty to at least two dollars, in my opinion. Um, again, if you don't have Clarissa, I think you need to pick that up first, and then uh, so on and so forth for the other cards as well. The Zek is fairly cheap if you don't get any, uh, um, if you don't have Sanctitude or uh, any other card in the, in the deck you might want to add. But yeah, um, Clarissa is around like $2, I want to say. And 
a very reasonable price compared to like Alestio and Lorinol. Um, so far the other bosses haven't rose to that level, but again, uh, you get your copies now before uh, you won't be able to get any in the future. And your strongest idol. Uh, now, first let's look at how many uh, people have purchased it. A lot of people have purchased like two ofs and uh, there's a couple of four ofs. So for this car in particular, um, I think depending on what route that they're going for these new uh, support units, such as the new Clarissa and the new Willista, um, if their Vanguard name changes, this order won't be as played. Um, I think it'll still be played as a one of, just depending if if it is a new boss, you can still ride Clarissa um, from your ride line and get the card and just to have, but the effect won't activate. Um, unless your opponent's great, they're greater, and you had all your rear guards. But for the market, for the price of the card, um, it's pretty fluctuating around like fifty to a dollar. I want to say. Um, well, disregarding the three dollar one, um, I think more people have put in their orders on stock. Yeah, there mo more people have put in their orders ever since that day, and um, I think this is a okay price i mean I, I wouldn't have really paid it for like more than a dollar honestly uh especially since we don't know what the bosses do but again i think this is not as important of a piece yet but we'll have to see and right, next we have evelyn um a very important card to be able to search your deck to be able to get your uh, earnest card units uh not a lot of people have been buying her again like i keep repeating uh set one was sold pretty well um it was a big influx of players and a lot of people open products. Um, Evelyn has been fluctuating around like uh, 50 cents to a dollar, which is pretty reasonable. Again, the same concern I have with uh, this order. I'm not sure if it will be able to work with uh, the new Clarissa if it is a boss, since it restricts to her car name. But we'll have to see. Uh, next, we have uh, Leona. So this card, um, I've seen... Yeah, a lot of people have been buying it as a, a, a playset, which is pretty good, uh, in my opinion. Um, it has been really rising in price, and it's been fluctuating around like 50 cents to the dollar, which I think is okay. Um, I still feel like the double R being a dollar is a bit much, but I'm not the one who controls the market. So, again, this isn't as much of a priority, I feel. Um, but the next card, I will say, is pretty much most definitely a priority. Um, and this is uh, Regina. So, uh, recently, uh, we've had, like, a couple of people buy a playset. But most likely, it's only been one of two O's. Since the deck doesn't really have that much space for Earnest Crate units, and I hope we do get more Earnest Crate units uh, to help with Clarissa's effect. Um... Being able to search your deck for um, a greater or less unit will earn us correct. If you have Clarissa Vanguard, which is very important because the new card could just be cl have Clarissa and not have the full text of the other cards. So you can search a Persona Ride, you can search any Ernest Crane unit. So uh, this has been fluctuating around, uh, well, it started at like two, I want to say. Well, it started at five, and to get your play sets is around five. So this is a card that's going to scale up over. Um, over time, so I would get this now between two fifty and to like five dollars has been like the price range. Uh, even though to me it says two fifty one, I think that um, Clarissa is pretty much the fan favor of a lot of people, and they would get this card as soon as possible. So I would get as soon as possible. And then lastly, we have a uh, Gizia. So this is a card that wasn't like really rounded um, that well. Uh, Again, no one even bought it on the 24th. A couple of pe people bought it afterwards. But it set two of those cards that supported your rear guards with Ernest Crest. Like, this one get, gave them shield and they couldn't be hit. So, I'm not sure. Like, no decks in the meta at the moment, like, really attack into rear guards. Unless you're talking about the new uh, Ava support card, uh, Obscid A, that can swing it to the front row. Um... I'm assuming maybe the new Clarissa can probably give your Ernest Chris intercept from the back row if this is placed, and then you can intercept with them in the back row, um, and maybe some support cards will get them from the drop zone or something. But anyway, um, this card 
is around like 50 cents to uh, a dollar. Uh, we'll have to see. This is more of a uh, we have to wait and see card. I think the major priority is to get this card first, and everything else. Like I'm pretty sure you can get um, all the other Ernest Cart units because they don't specify uh, the old Clarissa except this one. But I would still get her just in case. Of like probably your second priority, and this is your first priority. And that is all going to be for the Marker Watch of the channel so far for lyrical set one and two so if you guys enjoy these type of videos let me know what can i do to improve it uh what cards I, should i look at next week i will be asking on twitter and make a community post as well about what cards you might want to see for for this market watch series um next week i will probably be doing premium and maybe standard depending on uh what wins worlds which is currently um about to happen today since it is saturday um january 28th so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit a like comment subscribe and uh let me know if there's any cards you like to see in the future uh, and stuff like that so i'm zanarion and i'm signing off